Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and the next part of this vlog series about my reloading bench. So I have been able to pick up a few things that I needed, some more die, some more parts and pieces. Not got it there yet, but the big thing is I got this RCBS Rock Chucker Supreme press. Now, if you remember, I had this press already and it's a decent press. It is on the cheap side. I'm going to use it mainly as a universal decapping system. And got it already mounted up and everything. If you want to look at any of the other things regarding this bench, please check out parts one and four. But today we're going to mount up this RCBS press. And I bought an inline fabrications mount for it. So let's get started. know why I'm not using this lightweight small lead eye for all the heavy stuff look at the size of the rock checker compared it's much bigger and trust me it's much heavier I got the inline fabrications mount put together I guess I'm gonna have to drill out holes right here and here it's got the holes ready to go it even has these bolts for it, but this piece blocks it, which is kind of crazy. You'd thought that literally bought this and it was designed for the rock chucker. I wouldn't have to drill holes. I guess I'm going to have to drill holes. Coming together, I've got the inline fabrication mount with the rock chucker mounted on it. Got a few small things, got some calipers, a bullet puller, got a weight set for calibration. Got this lock and load straight OAL gauge for testing your seating depth and how close you are to the lands, all that kind of stuff. Uh, pretty happy with it so far. In case you haven't watched the first few parts, I've hand loaded most of my life, but my uncle's equipment's what I use and kind of with his expertise, so I want to get my own setup. And of course, overall, you know, money is the key. Just haven't had the money. But got this set up here for prep using this to trim brass using this lee die sorry this lee press with this universal decapping die and this mount just for deep priming that's the only thing i'm using it for and then i've just got a little toolbox here full of stuff that all kinds of stuff that i need little things go in there bigger things go here and then of course i needed a bigger press. It's a press that would actually I feel more comfortable with 
be stout enough for the big stuff. And I, I always wanted one of these inline fabrication mounts to kind of get it up higher, give it some more leverage. The big thing I'm missing, pause for loud noises outside. The big thing I'm missing is a scale. <laughs> I have this little scale. That ain't gonna do it. I need a nice scale. And that's one thing I don't wanna go cheap on. Because you can tell I've went cheap on quite a few things here. But I don't want to go cheap when it comes to the scale because weighing powder, bullets, brass, whatever the case, that precision work is something I definitely want to be right on with. But I can't just spend a ton of money. So I definitely am looking for a good scale uh, that's very accurate. It doesn't have to actually dispense the powder for me. I can do that manually if I have to. I'm just honestly the most concerned about an accurate scale. So if you have any recommendations for that, please let me know. And I've got a lot more little things that I want to get. When I've got this thing fully set up, I'm going to be pretty proud of it. I think I can load very accurate ammunition, but I'm just doing it piece by piece as I get time and as I get the money. That's, that's the big thing is the money. So it's coming together. Pretty happy with it. Thinking about putting a rack that my uncle killed up here of a nice buck kind of mounted up there. I've got some old rusty guns over here that have no real value. They're just parts and pieces. I thought about trying to mount them up on this wall just as kind of decoration. And then this whole corner, you know, could kind of be for YouTube. Kind of have a backdrop for my coffee and cartridges or whatever. So, got big plans. Uh, let, let me know what you think. If you're expecting an immaculate setup, this is not the video. <laughs> This is how to do things cheap, but I think so far it's turning out good. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a thumbs up. Comment below. Subscribe if you've not subscribed. We've got more reloading content coming. And until next time, have a great day and take care.